next topic, uh, Mitsubishi Electric uh, CEO uh, has basically quit over fake inspections. What specifically happened was that they, uh, it turned out that since the 1980s, um, Mitsubishi's process for manufacturing uh, air conditioning units for trains had an inspection, you know, like a quality inspection step that apparently uh, the, the, the practice of the people in the factories for, for three or four decades had been, yeah, just not to do it and just check off in the box that it was done. Um, now, these were not like safety inspections or safety records. They weren't forging the, the PSC um, reports and stuff like that, which is originally what I thought it was. So apparently this wasn't actually a violation of law. It was a violation of internal process. Um, also, um, some people from the company did point out that there were apparently no problems, uh, you know, reported with this equipment. There was never a case of an inspection which actually let out a faulty unit this entire time. However, um, as the, the, the CEO himself acknowledged, it reflected a culture within Mitsubishi Electric that um, you know this had been just become established practice to skip over quality checks on products, um, and that was uh, reflected a deep-seated cultural issue that had actually been perpetuated over decades. And uh, he felt the CEO he probably wanted to retire early and take responsibility and acknowledge that um, it had to be changed. What's really disappointing about this, apart from the fact that there are multiple cases like this in, in, in many Japanese companies in recent years where, you know, this idea that they have this great quality or whatever. I mean, in a way, you could say there was no actual real problem and no violation of law, but he quit anyway. So you could say maybe there are actual high standards or at least aspirations of high standards. But there again, you've got the Mitsubishi Group. And although, of course, the Mitsubishi Group are not like, it's not like World War II where they were an actual, you know, zaibatsu or connected. But there is a culture among Japanese companies. I, I mentioned I used to work at Mitsubishi Material Silicon and I was there when they merged with Sumco. Um, I was from an IT company at the time. But um, yeah, the, the pro problem with the merger was, was that Mitsubishi's like processes were more slack than Sumitomo's and they had trouble matching up because Sumitomo, because Mitsubishi was all over the place. And then you had, while I was there, like 2002, you had the Mitsubishi safety, the, the car safety issue, where again, they were hiding um, crash reports in a locker and it turned out that they were like Pajeros with engines catching on fire spontaneously. And I hated this because that scandal killed Mitsubishi Motors. Um, in Japan, nobody buys Mitsubishi Motors except for like trucks and buses and you know, they, they mostly get exported here. They lost the trust of the Japanese public because they were hiding up, they were covering up these sort of safety issues with their cars. Um, it seems over and over again, Mitsubishi Group companies have these same problems of just being slack uh, around quality and safety. And I think that's partly what played into this as well. Good to see that they took it seriously, but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so